In this lesson, we're going to be talking about data recovery. So why would we be talking about data recovery? Well, there are a few reasons why a forensic examiner or investigator may want to be talking about data recovery. The first is it's possible that there may have been an attempt to destroy the piece of evidence, say a hard drive, or at least the data on it. And so you would need to understand basic data recovery techniques in order to recover the data so that you could present it as evidence. So some simple data recovery techniques may simply be just getting the hard drive repaired or the components that the hard drive uses to connect to the PC. So maybe there was an attempt to destroy the SATA connection, for example. So that's one way that you may need to do to recover the data is you may need to just do some physical hardware repairs or have those hardware repairs done so that you can get access to the hard drive again. Now, there are some other things is perhaps the data was destroyed and we've talked in other lessons about deleted files. But there's also the possibility that there was an attempt to remove the partition, thinking that that would destroy the data. And of course it doesn't. The data still lives on the hard drive. And there are ways to recover the partition table. Now, there are a handful of tools that are available for different platforms to be able to recover data. And we're looking at one right now. This is called Recover Data. This happens to be a trial version. And I'm just going through a simple data recovery scan on this particular system. And you can see that there are a number of files that it's found. So we found some deleted files that we may be able to recover here. So any number of these deleted folders or files could be recovered using this technique. Now, this has just done a search for deleted folders and files, and there are certainly other tools that are available in cases where maybe the media has been damaged or appears to be damaged or where the partition table or the file tables have been destroyed. So here's a utility that actually runs under the Macintosh system or Mac OS, and this is called Disk Warrior. And what Disk Warrior is capable of doing is it's capable of actually rebuilding the directory. So it's capable of looking at damaged directories and rebuilding them so that all of the files that may have been lost are now recovered. And it can also go through and look for files and folders that may have been damaged or have some problems. So it can go through and look for those. It's also capable of repairing disk permissions, which sometimes cause problems with file access or just making the, the files do what you expect and want them to do. Now, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes you will run into problems where the hardware is giving you issues. So a tool like Disk Warrior here is actually capable of doing some diagnostics and tests, and you can have it do these tests and make sure that the hardware is performing the way you would expect it to. Now, I can't actually run any of these tools against my primary hard drive because my primary hard drive is currently in use. But these tools, like Disk Warrior, are actually pretty good at rebuilding the structures in the file system in cases where there may be data corruption or there may be issues of data loss. Sometimes you'll have bad sectors on a hard drive and between the hardware and the operating system, they aren't always great at detecting the bad sectors until they've been in use. So sometimes you'll get some corruption and you will need to have a tool that will be able to recreate that data for you. Now, there's another technique called data carving, 
And data carving actually is a technique that looks through the file system for structures on it that look like a particular file type. For example, in other lessons, we've talked about what image files look like. So JPEGs and GIFs and bitmaps and PNG files. So a tool that was capable of supporting data carving techniques would go looking through the disk in order to find those signatures for files like that and of course many other file types and it would be able to pull that data back out so even though maybe the data has been destroyed in the sense that it's no longer available in the directory or the file allocation table or the mft or whatever file system that you're using the data still sits on the hard drive and you can use data carving techniques in order to get that data back. So as I said, there's a number of different reasons why you may need to use data recovery techniques. And sometimes it's because the hardware has been damaged. Sometimes it's because there's been an attempt to destroy the data. Sometimes there's just deleted files around that you may want to be looking for. So you need to be able to understand the situation that you've got and the techniques and tactics that you need to be using in order to recover the data from that piece of evidence that you have.